Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by webvidtuts.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to use a few more tags in HTML. This is video 2 in this series and like I said, we're going to learn a few more tags such as all the header tags and the paragraph tags. And uh, in this video, we're also going to start using Notepad++, which is this uh, program right here. This is where we're going to start doing our HTML coding because one neat little feature of it is well one is because it uses number lines to show you how many lines of code you have number two it lets you use code hinting with HTML like if I do that and it starts turning blue and everything and yeah it's just a lot more easier to code in this simply because it has a bunch of code hinting and like if you spell a tag wrong it won't turn blue or anything and yeah it's just really useful to help you when you're coding and everything and uh... you can download this at the notepad plus plus site which you can just go to google and go ahead and just type notepad plus plus it's all together one word it's right here all you gotta do is click on that link uh... notepad plus plus dot org go ahead and go to this little download section right here and then just download the current version and now I already downloaded this so it's in my downloads folder right here somewhere where it's shit right there let's go ahead and install and everything I, I just keep clicking next and that's pretty much all I have to do for any installer and once it installs it you can start running it and start coding HTML on it well let's go ahead and let me introduce to you uh, some more tags go ahead and just start typing your default tags for our HTML page and body tag uh, tag and then a close HTML tag remember always include your closings for each one like HTML HTML need about this thing is it shows your closing tag and your opening tag right there so I got two bodies the title and word we are good let's name this title of this page using tags yeah, we're using tags. Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and start using some new tags. Go ahead and in the body section, you know, you can just space it out. Um, white space and HTML doesn't matter. So I can have this thing going that far; it'll still work just the same. It doesn't matter how many white spaces it has; it'll still work exactly the same. Okay. Um. <clears throat> start using these tags. What we're going to learn now is these header tags. All I have to uh, just type what I'm typing right now. H1. H1. <clears throat> this is a first header tag, which is just a pre-built-in tag into HTML that browsers already know and everything. And uh, go ahead and type what I'm typing. Or go ahead and type anything in between the H1 and the closing H1 tag. Uh, this video we are oh we're using the header tags. Well, let's put some exclamation points in there. We're pretty happy about this. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> what this is going to do these two tags is that it's going to format this text not into regular text but into the header text which this defines right here the header tag and hmm, I forgot what I was going to say <laughs> oh, yeah. and there are uh, six header tags there's h2 h2 tag and then there's h3 oh. I'm closing. oh I am not typing very good today <laughs> There's H4. Oh my man, I am not doing good at all. H5. Kind of closing for that. And make sure you always put your closings in there. And there's an H6 tag. Yeah, that type kind of slow today. Each one of these header tags is a little bit different than the next. Mainly the difference is the low or the higher you go in the number. The smaller the header tag, or the smaller the text is. Like H1 will be your largest text for the header tags, and then H2 will give it a spot, get a little bit smaller, 
H3 even a little bit smaller, 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 and then even more the smallest. Okay, let's go ahead and just uh, let's, let's just go ahead and oh, what did I just do? Okay, let's go ahead and just copy this text right here just to show you how it's going to look. Let's go ahead and take the aisle, paste it, paste it in between each of the header tags, between the closing and its opening tags. So you should have something that looks like this. They have one row with your H1 tag and your text, H2 tag and your text, H3, H4, oh, H5, and H6. Now let's go ahead and just save this. Save it as hypertext markup language. Yes, that's right. And not change that log. We'll go ahead and change this to tags.html. And now what's cool about Notepad++ is if you just put HT, uh, hypertext markup language and save as type, it'll automatically save as HTML. You don't have to put that .html at the end. Oh, one other thing. You can also use .htm and a couple others like .shtml, .shtm, and .xhtml. But for these videos, you can just type .html or .htm. It really doesn't matter. Or just save it like that anyways. Okay, let's go load up our web page and see what the header tags did. Well, it's tags.html right there. And as you can see, the higher the number of the, H the header tags, the smaller the text gets. And you can also notice that they're bold now. And yeah, that's basically all it is for the header tags. Um, you can use a header tag. You can use the header tags as for like headers of websites and everything. Just all that good stuff. Um, one more tag I'm going to teach you about is the paragraph tag, and out, all that just is is just a paragraph in HTML. Like we'll type this right here. We'll go ahead and copy that again, and just paste it right back in there. Go ahead, and Control S to save. It'll save it back as the tags to HTML page. And there is our paragraph tag being in use. That just defines a, a new paragraph basically in HTML and the indents. Well, it doesn't end it, but uh, it spaces out each paragraph. And what else? Um, that is basically it for all of this tutorial. Um, yeah, that's basically it. All right. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel, and go ahead and register as a member on our site. Uh, thank you for watching and subscribe and everything. Like I said, all that good stuff. And thank you all for watching. Goodbye.